Hey guys, so today is Friday, May 7th, and I'm going to do a quick little vlog for today. Today's gonna be exciting. Right now, I am at the gym. I'm going to get my day started off right. I'm having some coffee from Dunkin'. I plan to take some more photos of the kittens, and I think an adopter is gonna come over today around maybe like five o'clock, so I have to get ready for that. I'm just gonna get a light stretch in as well as some cardio. My favorite exercise machine is called the Stairmaster and it sits right next to the window which has a beautiful view. I really enjoy exercising for the most part. Yes, it can be challenging, but at the end of the day, I feel like it does really boost my moods. I feel good, I feel great. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry about the lighting. I just got home and the kittens are asleep so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because I still wanna take a shower before I like cater to them. Aw, they all just woke up. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi little one. This is what I love about kittens. They just greet you at the door. Hi. <laughs> I love being a foster mom. This is what it's all about, right? This one was about to fall asleep in my shoe. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to fall asleep in my shoe. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I decided to foster three kittens until I can find them a loving forever home. I didn't know much about these kittens before I received them. I just chose to take them on in whatever condition that they had came in. Unfortunately, I did notice that in their previous home, their conditions were less than optimal. Within the first two days, I noticed how small they were, and not in a good way. They didn't have a plump, baby fat appearance, like kittens should, and even lacked some muscular tone. This is called triangle face. It's a loss of muscle mass in their cheeks due to starvation. You can see here that this kitten is suffering from malnutrition as well, because even when I try to prop him up, the arch in his back doesn't correct itself. This is called abdominal tuck, when a kitten doesn't have enough body fat in its tummy, causing the stomach to recede inward in an arched posture. The first thing I did was schedule an appointment with a veterinarian. It actually kind of looked like one of the kittens was more sick than the others because of his dull, hazy eyes. You can definitely tell. I just got out of my shower and I know, I know I look a mess right now, but I was in the middle of blow drying my hair and I heard the, one of the kittens like cough, like, a, <laughs> like that type of sound. I went to it and it had a string and it had a string coming out of its behind, you know, his private part. So I called the veterinary clinic. And they said that they can see him at 1.30. Right now, I think it's like 12.40. So I still have a little bit of time, but I can't even blow dry my hair right now because my nerves are really getting the best of me. Okay, I just got ready so quickly. I just brushed my hair and threw on some clothes. The importance of having a string in a kitten's or cat's intestines is that if you pull on it, you can pull out its organs, you can rip up its digestive tract. If you don't get it out, it'll chafe and it could go like into the digestive tract or cut it and it can internally bleed. I'm treating this as an emergency because if you don't do anything about it, that could potentially be fatal to a cat or a kitten. I swept my floor before these kittens even came here. I've had them for about two days. I got them Wednesday night and it's Friday morning that I noticed this, um, this string coming out. So I don't know like when exactly um, this kitten ingested the string, but as far as I know, I don't think that it ingested it while it was here. I put him in here and we are about to go to the vet. I just got back from the veterinarian's office and I wanted to update you guys on what happened. What the vet told me is that 
at this point, there's nothing that he can really do about it. What I have to do is keep feeding the cat um, little by little, and then hopefully it'll come out naturally. If it doesn't come out naturally, then don't tug at it, he told me, because if I tug at it, I can literally take its entire organs and intestines out. One of the kittens were sneezing, I noticed it. From there, the vet took the black and white one's temperature, and the temperature was 103. The kitten had a fever and needed antibiotics. So right now I'm about to give all of the kittens antibiotics because if one of them have it and they've been hanging around each other, then most likely all of them have it. Everything you see here was prescribed by the veterinarian. This is a needle-less syringe, so it does not hurt the kittens. <laughs> Good boy. He just climbed into the bed after he ate. He didn't eat much. And you can tell that this kitten is sick because he is shaking shaking really bad. Now I'm gonna allow him to get his rest. I might just cuddle up with him a little later. Good job. Good job. Great, you did it. <laughs> okay, all done. Now for the last kitten to get his medication. This kitten is actually the strongest out of the bunch. He got an adoption offer that day, but I had to cancel the appointment. Because the kittens are sick, I really can't morally adopt them right away. I have to give them the medicine first. And that could take either 10 days, 2 weeks. It really all depends on how um, fast they recover. This is footage of them cuddling together after they had their medication. I'm sure they are extremely drowsy and tired. The black and white one, I actually noticed... Oh, by the way, his name is Marsh. I named him after, like, Marshmallow, because he's so cute, like Marshmallow. Anyways, so I noticed the black and white one was extremely lethargic. He couldn't move around much or even have the energy to lift his head. Even when the others play, he just sits and watches them play. And I didn't know whether or not he was actually going to recover, which is just made me so emotional and scared for him. And during that time, I think I got attached. Look at the mirror. That's you. Yeah, you're handsome. You're beautiful. Believe it. Believe in yourself. I think I actually might adopt him. As for the other two kitties, I'm trying to do everything in my power to get them adopted. I even set up this little photo shoot area to take pictures of them. If you'd like to see how the photos turned out, you can go to my Instagram at underscore the diamond girl underscore. I post everything there about them. I hope this video has given you some insight of what it's like to actually foster kittens. Yes, it can be fun and adorable and playful and satisfying, but honestly guys, nothing has prepared me for the emotional stress of taking care of sick kittens and getting attached to them. I actually think that this will be my last time fostering kittens because I got so attached to them that I just literally want to keep them all. These are such great kittens, and I just want to find perfect homes for them, and I know that I will. I'll definitely continue to keep up with these foster kitten videos. I want you guys to know exactly how the process goes, especially how the adoption process goes. The next video will be how my kitten Lily is taking to these cats. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Is it hot